Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I'm obsessed with planners and journals. Yes, I do have a new Instagram account. I explain everything that happens down in my own profile. I would love if you'd consider following me there. I post every single day about my planners and some sneak peeks into my PhD life. But for now, I'm here to share with you my first ever Hobonichi Weeks flip through. So I'm a little bit nervous about sharing my pages with you. They are very simple, as you will see. So if you want to see how I use this planner, how I've been using it, uh, how I intend to keep using it, or if I don't intend to keep using it, and how my pages turned out, just keep watching. <gasps> This is the Hobonichi wigs I've been using on a weekly basis and the one that I use the most. It is a spring edition, so it started back in March, so we will go from the beginning up until now, and we are in August now, so I've been using it for quite a while and I'm actually loving using it this way. This cover, it is the Toad Lily, it is from the 2021 lineup, and I can't wait to see the covers for next year lineup. And hopefully we will discover them very soon. But this cover is very classy, very beautiful. I just love the simplicity of it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. And I also really love the texture. That's why I don't have any covers on covers or anything at all. Even though it is very compact and it's usually used as an on-the-go planner, this little guy doesn't leave my house at all. That's why I feel confident in not having any covers on covers in here because it will stay put together in my office. The reason I don't carry this around with me is because I usually just come here um, on a weekly basis, not every single day, and my go-to on-the-go planner is always a passport size traveler's notebook. I just love carrying it around and it's easier for me to change inserts and all of that, but that's not why you are here. You are here to see my Hobonichi Weeks. So this is how it looks on the back. It's very, very simple. I just love this so much. I hope they will have a collaboration with this artist for next year's as well. Here, as you can see, I have a little elastic just keeping everything together. And that's just the Hobonichi, uh, one of the Hobonichi accessories that I use the most. I don't know how it's called, if it is bookmark or something. I will be sure to write it here somewhere. But it's it's just like this little um, plastic thing. It's very, very durable. I got mine when I was back in Japan in 2018. So I just added that little plastic pocket that comes with the wigs here at the back. And then I can just add that accessory in there. And I have this card from Frankengoop, which is one of my favorite sticker shops uh, because I think it adds a little bit of decoration. And you just have that elastic that you can use to mark your pages. So when I'm home uh, and I'm using this planner, I will usually use it to mark my pages. So you can just do something like this and then you close and open at that page very easily. But uh, the way I use it the most is just to keep my wigs closed all together. And when it's time for me to use it, I will just put the elastic at the back cover and I'm ready to go. So I won't be uh, wasting your time through the setup because there's nothing going on, to be honest. I had a lot of plans for every single part of this planner, but it's all blank, so I don't have anything in the index. I don't have anything in the monthly view. I will probably fill out the monthly view with just important dates when I started medicine and all, all of those things just for uh, more of a record purpose because I'm not using uh, the monthly views as a planner, actually. This is just for me to plan my week and kind of organize it, but also to have fun and decorate. My All my planning right now is going in my bullet journal, but I will talk about that in another video as well. So nothing special with the setup. So this began at the 1st of March, but I actually started using it, I think, um, 
a month later or so so a lot of these pages are just me back planning or oh, I, I really don't like that expression it's just me like coming back and just writing everything down to have a record of because it's not planning but it's it's the same thing so basically you will see that I really have a lot of blank space in here. I just, I, I like the blank space. I think it helps me to visualize things. I, it's really part of my aesthetic as well. And it makes me feel just calm. I don't know, I like blank space. I'm okay with it. I also love a very cluttered spread as well. But in my weeks, we have a lot of blank spaces because I'm just decorating it a little bit and filling out the only with the things that I need to see. <laughs> so the structure of my weekly spreads are all the same. On the left side of the page, I will keep appointments and events or important things that I want to remember that were done that specific day. So any date bounded events or appointments and on the right side I will just keep a running weekly task sometimes I do have grocery list and a little bit of decoration here and there so this was back in May oh my god I was doing a laser and <laughs> in my eye and it was a very hard time it's kind of strange to look back at it um, but yeah so I was not using this, so not much going on. The second week, you can see a lot of blank space in here because of course I was filling this out after the fact. So I felt a little bit silly <laughs> writing down tasks for a week that has already passed, but I tried my best. I was looking back into my other planners that I was actually using back that time and just filling things out same you will see oh my god this video will be so boring let me know if you want to see more of these videos because yeah not not much going on because it's not like my creative journaling planner where i spend more time decorating and creating collages and things like that it's very simple for example this spread i only have this beautiful london gift is washi tape and that's it for decoration but maybe you will find it interesting to see. I, I think it's interesting to share how I actually use uh, the planners that I keep mentioning. Another blank spread, nothing special going on. My days are actually quite boring. I'm usually working all day long from home, so nothing really special happens here. Uh, it was the start of bunny day in Animal Crossing, so um, I guess <laughs> everything was so boring that I had to, rec to put that into record to remember because only my Animal Crossing life was eventful that day. I also received some happy mail from Archer and Olive and the lovely shop. So it's interesting to remember and look back at that. And I was prepping my new bullet journal. That's interesting. Maybe that's why I was not using any other stuff. Here is a more uh, eventful week where I have a lot of things going on in the left side of the pages because I, will ha I was having a lot of meetings and a lot of uh, Amazon deliveries. I also marked down April Fools probably because I was planning to do something to my fiance. And yeah, that was a little bit more eventful. It was also Easter week, but again, you can see that the decoration was basically just washi tape and then some stamping right here for the weekly tasks. And I do that a lot. I find it it's very easy to keep up and it doesn't overwhelm me so I can feel that the page is a little bit uh, decorated and a little bit beautiful but it's not overwhelming me and I can do this very very quickly on a Sunday evening. Another very simple week using some stickers and also some dot washi stickers. Nothing much happening. I was again going a lot to the hospital as I've been going through the hospital up uh, to the hospital a lot since February. So that's basically all of my appointments and yes, yeah, some meetings. 
I don't usually write down all my work stuff in here. That's why I'm showing you without any worries, uh, because I do have my work planner and my bullet journal where I keep track of all of that. So this is more like a personal planner, but it is important for me to mark down some meetings because of course I won't be able to do anything personal at that time. Here I was also using uh, stamps again and also some trans transferable stickers. Uh, I love it so much. I think it's perfect if you don't want to chunk your Hobonichi up, go with transferable stickers. They are just amazing. They, are a, they can be a little bit expensive, so I try not to use them every single week, but once in a while it's okay. So now we are almost at the end of April and I just started using a lot, a lot of stencils and you will see that I just, I've been really into stencils and I've been using them in my bullet journal, in my creative journal, in my personal journal, in my work planner, everywhere because it's so easy and I just love, sometimes I will fill uh, the letters and paint them all, sometimes I will leave them like these and I just love the look of it. Oh, we had a planner Zoom, a Zoom planner party with European planner babes. So that was fun. It's nice to remember that. Another very simple week, I was using two different washi tapes and here I was too lazy to get my stencil. So I just tried writing down the week number um, using my, I think it was my Tombow Fude pen. Um, I prefer using the stencil, but I also want to improve my handwriting. So sometimes I will try that. Here's a week where I was using some washi uh, stickers. I also think that's a great idea if you don't want to chunk your Hobonichi up because they are very, very thin and they don't add a lot of bulk to your planner. Another thing I do is I try to spread the stickers out and not put them at the same place every single week. But you also know I don't really mind a chunky Hobonichi. So I'm not the person to give you a lot of tips on how not to make your Hobonichi chunky. This week I only used as decoration one of Courtney Diaz Little Raven Ink uh, printables from her Patreon. I love them so much. If I could, I would just use her stickers, her printables that I just print on sticker paper and I use them everywhere because, oh my God, she's so talented and they are just so beautiful that I just felt like just one sticker and the spread was done. Oh, look, it was Cecilia's birthday from Scientist Plans. <laughs> Another spread, very simple, very plain with transferable stickers and just a dot washi stickers right here. I really like actually adding dot stickers in my, in my planner. I need to do that more. Again, nothing special. <laughs> Is anybody still there? Maybe you already, you have already given up on this video. Here I tried something different and to be completely honest, I don't really like this spread at all. I tried adding a lot of like little stickers and go by color and then I just added one of Cartney Diaz um, mugs right here so it kind of looks like everything is coming out of the mug. After I added the mug, I like it better, but I still really don't care for this spread very much. But it's nice to see that I was, I was trying something different. Now we are entering uh, June, so I tried kind of doing a collage here, but it's still very simple. It's just one like vellum paper that I have with a piece of London Gifties washi that I also added in here and another dot sticker, dot washi sticker. So I kind of like this. I don't know why I didn't feel like writing a running to-do list for the week. So I just decided to do the decoration right in the middle of this right page and I kind of like it. Another week where I just added a sticker from the Happy Planner sticker book. It's called Pressed Florals, if I'm not mistaken, and using the stencil again, but this time I fill out the letters and I really love this look so much. And another planner's Zoom planner party. Oh my God, I love that. We need to get back into that. We are almost done. We are now, uh, 
arriving at the end of June and here I was using the transfer bow stickers as well with a dot washi stickers. I think these are just my to go combo when I'm not feeling inspired and I don't know how to decorate the pages. I will usually add a dot and then a flower um, transfer bow sticker on top of it and call it a day and that's it. Here again I was using some happy planner stickers. I think this one, uh, these ones are from uh, the Beauty in Florals sticker book. It's my favorite sticker book and for some reason I can't remember the name of it um, but I just I just love this pop of um, like um, gold foil and I also added a stamp right here. Then here I just had a terrible week. I was sick every single day so I just wrote with a stencil later on oh what a week and just the one day that I had appointments and that's it. No decoration, nothing special because there was nothing special about that week so it doesn't deserve decorations. No, I'm kidding. You can't you, everything deserves decoration. By the end of the week, I was feeling so much better uh, that if I could, I would decorate everything, even my fiance. Then here we are already in July. So again, <laughs> using a lot of uh, stencil and just some washi strips right here. And I just love writing down the week number. I don't know why you have it always in here, but it's so tiny that sometimes I think I just wanted to use the stencil. So I didn't know what to write. So I just go went with um, the week number, but I kind of like that. Still in July, some stamping and also transfer bow sticker on top of it. It's also another combo that I love doing. It's just stamps and then transfer bow stickers. You kind of get that collage feel without having to use any glues and waste a lot of time. And also a little bit of washi here and there. Oh, and this is, I think it's my favorite spread up until now. Again, it's very simple, just London gifties, uh, washi, and then stencil, and that's it. And I just love how it looks. I love this washi so much. I think it's one of my favorites, and I just love doing this so much. Here, a more simple week. Again, just using London Gifties washi tape, but it's a more simple washi tape in a way, or at least less, um, it doesn't pop up very much. So usually I use it as part of a collage spread or collage thing. But here I decided to just go with the washi tape and then use two sets of stamps to mark down what I wanted to do and what we needed to buy. So this is a grocery list. Again, using just stamp and London gift is washi. <laughs> you see, that's, that's a trend in here. I really love doing that. And we are already in August. And here I decided to use again one of Courtney Diaz printables. I just love this little monster so much. And it says journal today. And I thought it was perfect because here I was feeling a little bit. And again, it is this week. <laughs> and I'm talking as if it was like five years ago. But this week I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all the planners and journals. And I feel like I just keep thinking about my journals and my lineup and I'm not actually using my lineup, especially my journals. So I thought it was perfect and um, it reminded me of why I love this so much. And this is next week. I already have a little bit of London Gifties washi tape and some transferable stickers right here. Let's see how it will turn out. Maybe if you like these types of videos, I will do another one in a couple of months. But as you can see, it's very simple and there's nothing that special. Some pages I like, some pages are just blah, some pages are just boring. <laughs> but I love seeing my life on a weekly basis. I love looking back into these pages and that's why I will keep doing this. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.